cupcakes! Welcome back to my channel! <laughs> Do you guys notice anything, you know, different? <laughs> I got rid of the green in my hair. Well, it's still kind of there. I have to go in for another session, but I'm liking the blonde. Except my hair is falling out a lot and it's kind of scaring me. I have naturally really dark hair. So it's always been a struggle trying to bleach my hair because it just always turns out this orange color. Anyway, the focus of this video is not my hair. It's going to be about these new metallic lipsticks that I got from the beauty crop. <laughs> sent me a package um, and I believe there's four of their new metallic lipsticks that I'm gonna try out for you right here and I'm gonna review them and try them for the first time yeah and um, this is the first time that I'm actually trying out their cruelty free cosmetic line cos company they try to use as much natural products as they can, so that's really awesome. We ain't trying to hurt no animals up in here. Excuse um the dirty halter top. I can never keep white clothes white. And I also wore this in my last video, I think, or the one before that, but it's all good. I'm broke, so you're going to see me in like the same five shirts. Alright, so let's get this bad boy open. Look how cute this packaging is. It's perfect. Yes. Got the metallic. Got some kissy lips. Glowy font. Yes. The beauty crop. Okay, let's get these open. Open any random one. Ooh, oh my god, this is so cute. It's a frosted glass tube, and then they have these metallic lips on there. Love it. So this is in the color Rojito. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand. So this is a really fun bright pink metallic lipstick. I like how it's kind of like a jelly consistency. It's kind of transparent at first so it's a little bit harder to apply but then after you get that first layer on and then you add some more on top of that it becomes more opaque and it actually dries to a matte but it still has that metallic finish if that makes sense so if you've ever tried the ColourPop so if you've ever tried the ColourPop Cosmetics metallic lipsticks they are kind of a sheer satin finish in the way that they dry whereas this lipstick is also a metallic finish like you can see the shine but it dries as a matte so when I go like this it won't move which is a great thing and I like how the metallic is not so out there so it's a little bit more wearable I find that the ColourPop Cosmetics ones are a little bit too shiny and metallic that I don't find myself grabbing them as often because they're not as wearable. Moving on to the next shade. They are a little tough to get off because they dry matte, but I mean that could be a good thing because then they probably won't move if you wear them all day. The next color is going to be Royal. I just love this packaging because you can see this color looks so pretty in the packaging. There's not really a scent to it, which is probably a good thing because that means they probably didn't add any fragrance to it. Ooh, this is such a pretty color. So this one is completely opaque after the first layer, like you saw it when I did Rojito or Rojita. Rojito, I had to add another layer so it wasn't so sheer, but this one straight off the bat with one layer is just completely opaque. You can't see any of my lip color underneath, and it is such a gorgeous color. Oh, 
I really like this color. Like I said before, it's not so out there and shiny. I was kind of hesitant when they asked me if I wanted to try their metallic lipsticks because I already have some from ColourPop Cosmetics, which I don't really wear. But I think they did a really good job. And this is just after trying two of them. I haven't tried the other two yet. But I think they did a really good job in making them a little bit more wearable colors. So it's completely dry now. I want to add another layer to see if it'll get all clumpy because I noticed that ColourPop Cosmetics lipsticks can kind of get really sticky um, after adding another layer so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Right now it feels super light and super comfortable. I don't even feel like I'm wearing anything on my lips. It's not drying, it's not crackly, it's just perfect and it doesn't move. Let's try the second layer. Okay, it's going on smoothly. I saw no issues with it um, applying the second layer. I didn't see any clumps. It's still not drying or anything. I still feel like it's super light on my lips. And I don't know, did it get a little bit darker? I can't really tell, but I think it did. All right, let's go on to the third color. Forgot to show you the swatch of that, but this is Royal next to Rojito. And for the next shade, okay, it's a little bit of a more metallic color if that makes any sense it's called champagne Ooh, it's a really nice rose gold kind of color so see what i mean by more metallic color it's very shiny compared to these two it's actually not as metallic on the lips as i thought it was going to be it's more of a really light pink color. It's actually really pretty. I thought it was gonna be too in your face. I mean it kind of is but it looks more like a lip gloss and it still dries a matte. I'm liking these a lot better than the ColourPop Cosmetics metallic lipsticks because I just find that the colors that they made are a little bit unrealistic. Like I wouldn't wear them on the daily you know what I mean but I could definitely plop this color on. I think it looks really good with what I'm wearing right now. This color is a little bit more sticky and a little bit more drying than the other two. It's not too bad. It's still very lightweight and it doesn't really bother me that much. Um, it's not horrible. It's just like I can tell it's a tiny bit sticky but definitely still wearable. Like I wouldn't have a problem, you know, touching this up or anything. I'm sure if I add another layer... This one is so weird. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel as smooth and buttery when I'm applying it like Royal did. It still feels really smooth, don't get me wrong. But it kind of feels like there's there's something there. Maybe it's the brush. And I realized that these lipsticks become so much more metallic when you add a second layer. Like if you see that, now it's now it's in your face. But let's go on to the last color. I'm so glad I'm on the last color because these lipsticks are impossible to get off and my lips are really hurting right now. Okay, the next shade is another pinky shade. Looks like this. Oh, it's like a dusty rose color. Very pretty. I wish they would have sent me more like fun colors like a metallic green or metallic orange. I'm all about those fun pops of colors. But I think they chose these colors specifically for the metallic lipsticks because it makes them a lot more wearable. And that's what, you know, majority of people want is to wear neutral shades. So I think they did a good job in choosing the colors. Okay, so far the easiest ones that go on is Rollini and Royal. Um, I just noticed they go on a lot smoother and automatically opaque. I don't have to add another layer to fix any parts that look more sheer. This one is a little bit more drier than the first two as well. I don't know. I didn't really see a problem with the first two. My lips were fine, but after scrubbing so much, maybe that's why Champagne and Rollini feel a little bit more drying. But this one doesn't feel sticky like Champagne. I think all of them are fine in terms of stickiness 
except for champagne. It's a tiny bit sticky. It's not bad at all. Well, there you have it. Those are the four new metallic lipsticks from The Beauty Crop. Go ahead and click down in the description box to find their website so you can check out more of their products. I'll list the name and the prices of these lipsticks in the order that I swatch them. And I'll include their other social media like Instagram and... I don't know what other social media they have, but if they have any, it'll be in the box below. So that concludes this video. Let me know which one was your favorite. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit your post notification if you haven't already. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!